So now we're getting on to one of the more depressing topics, which is space junk. I mean, the human race has a good record of leaving junk everywhere we do it. Yep. Archaeologists are out of business otherwise. <laughs> um, but here's space junk. Now, now as, as we'll see, this illustration is extremely inaccurate in exactly. many respects. That's right. It's not like piles of garbage on the street. <laughs> um, so what is space junk? Yes, yeah, so, so simply what we're talking about here is human-made things that are in orbit and not even now in orbit around the earth this could be stuff in orbit around the moon this could be rocket boosters crashing into the moon as has happened recently um, or on mars so this is artificial stuff and more importantly stuff that we do not have control over so a functional satellite we won't call space junk because we can maneuver it we can control it we could in theory deorbit it and as we'll talk about burn it up if we need to the space junk stuff comes from old satellites. Old satellites run out of fuel. You can't really steer it anymore. It's junk. Um, if bits break off a satellite, it floats around. It's junk. Rocket boosters, when they go up and they take their satellites in there, junk. You know, even when an astronaut's in space and drops a tool, that doesn't, you know, we have, I think we have this picture that things just mysteriously go away in space, but they can be there for an awful long time as we'll explore as well. So space junk is all of that. And as you said, this is kind of this picture we think about, but it's not. There's a lot more subtlety to it than that. Okay, so where, where's the space junk coming from mostly? So the space junk is mostly coming from satellite launches. This is going to be the bulk of it. It is the satellites as they go up. Now, there could be a few different cases. They can collide, as we'll talk about. We've seen satellites collide. There could be bits that just break off. You know, I mean, things wear and tear, right? Uh, paint flakes off walls and things. Well, paint flakes off things in space as well. So all of that sort of stuff can create even the most microscopic object can actually turn into a whirring piece of space junk. And I think this is the important thing that we don't realize. It's not just these big satellites hurtling towards you that you're worried about. The small things can do just as much, if not more damage than the big stuff. Yes, yeah, so as we'll talk about later, the big stuff will clearly do more damage when it hits but you can probably track it. Yes. So it's the small things like the old screw that someone left over or even the flake, flake of paint. That's right. That no one's going to track something that small. But bear in mind, that orbital speeds are very, very high. That's right. That, um, we're talking about things traveling faster than a bullet. So you, uh, a screwdriver traveling faster than a bullet is going to blow a hole in the wall of your spaceship. Exactly. If, if a bullet goes 700 kilometers an hour, we know how much damage that is. If it now goes 25,000 kilometers an hour, it's going to end in a very bad way. So this is what we're going to explore in this section as he said, as depressing it kind of is, what is it, how is it created? Why is it now a problem? Um, what are the problems? And then how are we tackling it? Because there are options to tackle the space junk problem. The question I think is how fast can we do them at the rate of how we accumulate junk?